it back together again. Epiphany. Hey, I'm Epiphany 8. I'll get back to you later with a read. Hi. Right. Well, shout out to Jean. I saw your China Cat sunflower glasses, girl. <laughs> Hero Teal popping off that beat. Oh, John is just ooh, hopping all over. It is great.
part of this video, <clears throat> you will see that I pre-shuffled um, the cards, and it appears I have under five minutes now to complete this reading because I accidentally recorded a whole bunch, And um, but I'd wanted to shuffle these cards a little bit more on, on camera once I actually got to the reading, I just didn't realize I was recording previously. so. Hopefully I can get this done. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit, for a Pentacles, Knight of Roses, Two of Skulls. Oh, that's uh, interesting. Uh, a beginning and an ending with the uh, Minor Arcana and the Knight of Roses uh, representing the cups in a traditional tarot deck. Um, in the center position. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Collectively, I feel like the thing about the night is that it's a youthful spirit and I wanted to pull this, these cards on behalf of, you know, kind of the ending of the Dead and Company summer tour that's happening um, at City Field it uh, earlier tonight and then they'll play again tomorrow. And, uh, wow, this is just like that dance and dance in the streets, right? Um, <laughs> look at this beautiful night here of, of roses. 
feeling the love dancing you can see her skirts up like maybe she's a twirler you know what i mean <laughs> this is a grateful dead tarot deck that was designed i don't know um i can't remember the ladies names that design it but <clears throat> it comes with a guidebook and everything i am an intuitive reader so that's just the energy that I'm picking up right now. Um, you know, she has her little sword here, though. Um, not quite a sword, but maybe a dagger, um, you know. And, and maybe for some of us, that's a way to release things that have pained us. Is, you know, getting out there and dancing. And, you know, just enjoying life, right? You know, there's nothing wrong with enjoying life. Um... So in the past position here, the four of bears, you know, this kind of what I'm getting across right now, um, in the collective energy, uh, remember this is a collective reading. So take what resonates, leave what does not believe it. If you need it, and if you don't just pass it on. Okay. So uh, folks that have been holding on to their pentacles, their money, um, and especially around tour, like now they're enjoying the fruits of their labor, right? You know, gathering up for the feast. Okay. <clears throat> now for some of you, um, and this is some air sign uh, energy, but also heavy uh, in communication. There is a decision to be made. And it's interesting that the moon is here because we just had a full moon. And then this is almost like it's appearing at the end of the full moon cycle. Um, <laughs> in the shadow of the moon, right? Uh, they played Terrapin Station tonight. It was quite lovely. So, um, there's this eye here and it's looking, it's like, where, where am I going? You see the eye of the rose. So <clears throat> that's the thing with these skulls. I feel, you know, they're pointed in two different directions here and there's these roses and there's eyes of the roses. So it's like, there might be exterior things pulling on, on, um, some of you in the collective. Um, but really you're going to have to take a, some kind of direction. You know what I mean? Like you're your skull here, <laughs> your physical body in the 3D, okay? And the 3D can only point in one direction at a time. That's why there's a myth of multitasking, okay? Uh, yes, our bodies can do things in congruence, however. <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in to Tuning Wheel Tarot. Uh, catch you next time. This has been a grateful collective read. My apologies on the uh, accidental recording of all of the shuffle. <laughs>